a story about Max and microbes. In a big and beautiful city, in the apartment of a high-rise building, there lived a boy, Max by name, who had just turned seven. Max, like all children his age, went to school. But today he had the day off and got to stay at home. How good of them to invent days off, thought Max. You can lie in bed, watch cartoons, and read your favorite books. Now, Max was also very fond of fruit. Best of all, he liked oranges, apples, and bananas. But sometimes the boy was in a hurry and forgot to wash them before eating. This was one of those times. There was a basket of fresh, mouth-watering apples on the table. Max didn't even notice that soon, instead of an apple, only the core remained in his hand. It wasn't until after he'd swallowed the last piece of the apple that he remembered that he'd completely forgotten to wash the apple. It's okay, Max reassured himself. One unwashed apple can't do me any harm. And he quickly threw the core into the trash can. But at that moment, it seemed to Max that he wasn't alone in the room. He distinctly heard someone crying. The crying was very quiet. It sounded like some tiny creature was crying. The boy looked around. He even looked under the bed, but he didn't see anybody. Still, the crying continued. So Max picked up a magnifying glass, which his grandfather used for reading newspapers in the morning. The boy began to walk around the room and carefully examine every corner with the magnifying glass. But he couldn't find anyone. Still, the crying continued. Max approached the table and picked up the basket of apples, intending to wash the fruit at last. But immediately he put it back down. It seemed to him that the crying was coming from somewhere right around the basket. So Max began to examine each piece of fruit with the magnifying glass. And suddenly he saw a strange tiny creature. It was sitting on one of the apples and crying. Why are you crying? asked Max. My little brother is lost, answered the creature. 
Wait, don't cry. Max tried to calm it down. Maybe I can help. I have a magnifying glass. We can find anyone you want. Will you really help? Asked the stranger, wiping away its tears. Of course I will. Just tell me exactly what happened, and who are you anyway? My name is Max, and I am a microbe. My brother and I were playing on these fruits for some time, but he suddenly disappeared. I'm really sorry, but I'm sure I can help you," answered Max. "Do you often play on fruits?" And the microbe told the boy that its relatives could climb on fruit and other objects as well. The microbe also told Max that. Most of all, they were afraid of water. As soon as they saw it, they would immediately scatter. The boy kept searching. He was looking all around the room, and the microbe was examining the hidden corners that Max couldn't reach. The microbe called its little brother as loudly as a tiny creature could, but it was all in vain. The little brother was nowhere to be found. I don't understand it," said the little microbe to Max. "It's like my brother has vanished into thin air." You couldn't have eaten an unwashed fruit and swallowed it, could you? Me? Of course not," stammered Max as he turned red. He was ashamed of the unwashed apple he had eaten, but he didn't dare admit that. Because of his laziness, he could have eaten someone. Suddenly, Max got a stomach ache. It ached so badly that the boy clutched his tummy with his hands and sat down on the bed. At that moment, Max's mom entered the room. And saw that her son wasn't feeling well. What happened, Max? Asked Mom. What's the trouble? My tummy hurts, answered Max, and he told his mother that he had eaten an unwashed apple. Mom reminded Max that he shouldn't eat unwashed fruit, and that we should all wash our hands before meals. Then she went to the kitchen for some medicine. Max looked around, but the microbe was nowhere to be seen. The boy began to call it. But got no reply. Several minutes later, the thin voice of the microbe came from behind the basket of apples. Lying is a bad thing. Max felt ashamed again and apologized to his friend for not telling the truth at once. Yes, he really had eaten an unwashed apple, and was very sorry about it. The microbe accepted his apology, and came out from behind the basket. It started to remember the fun it had 
playing with its brother. It told that once, on a very cold night, its brother covered it with a piece of warm fluff. Max also became sad. He'd never had a younger brother, but he understood how nice it was to be taken care of. At that moment, Max's mom entered the room. She brought a large white pill and a glass of water. The microbe looked at the pill and sighed. Max noticed that it became even sadder. When his mom left the room, Max pushed the pill aside. Why don't you take your medicine? asked the microbe. I don't want to hurt your brother who might be in my tummy right now, replied the boy. Then the microbe told Max what would happen if he did not take the pill. It explained that the boy would have to give up sweet treats for a long time, and maybe even cartoons. Oh no! Is there a way to make it so my tummy never hurts? asked Max. The microbe said that for that he should always wash his hands before meals, rinse fruits and vegetables, let fresh air into his room, and clean it more often. Suddenly, it seemed to Max that he heard a voice coming from the trash can. Lifting the can, the boy noticed a tiny microbe on the edge that was about to jump onto the table. Max brought the can closer to the table, and the tiny microbe jumped onto it. It turned out to be the brother they had been looking for. Max was very glad that it had ended well. He said goodbye to the microbes and promised to always wash his fruit and his hands before eating. Then the boy took the pill and gave it back to his mother. When she asked about it, he replied that his stomach no longer hurt, so he didn't need the pill after all. Since then, Max has always washed his hands before eating, and he only eats clean fruit. So remember, you always want to wash up so that you can avoid tummy aches too. Good night.